Hi, Aria. Hi. <laughs> Woo. Guys, we are we are waiting. We are waiting on some others. Yes, we are you. We are you. In the meantime, between time. Tell me if you're hearing us, babe. Good night, good night, good night. Welcome, welcome. Good night. Hey guys, good night, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me see what's let me guy let me know if you guys can hear us loud and clear. We got a new setup in this place, you know. So let me, uh, let me know if you guys can hear us clear. And remember, when you come inside here, you are going to um, yeah follow protocol. Give us a little thumbs up. Yeah, let us feel good. Let us feel good. Yeah. We are tired, but we are still here. We are tired. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. So yes, yeah, so good night. Ariel, Fontana, Donet, good night to you and welcome guys. Welcome to our Friday night live as usual. Yes, tonight we are kicking things off. We just going to be testing something. So let me know if you guys hear this music, right? You guys are going to let me know. In the, the chat, if you're hearing this. I hear me. Yeah, let me know if you're hearing us. Leave a, um, a thumbs a thumbs up in the in the box eh? you not change the music okay well if you guys want hearing that then we'd work on that and um, get back to y'all. But let me know if you guys are hearing us. Let me know if you guys are hearing us. Yes. So, Troy, you you still not hearing me? Oh, you're hearing us now. Okay, so we will have to work on the um, the music aspect of it. Okay, let me turn on this light. I told you, like we like malfunctioning. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Guys, we are pretty, we are pretty. Yeah. We, yeah, she's cute. Yes. Hey hon, good night, good night, good night to you. Good night. Yes, so we're gonna kick things off as usual. As you notice, we have a topic, where has the love gone? But we're gonna share something light first. You know, we started with something light before we get into the topic. Natalia was missing in action last week. Yes. Yes, you gotta speak up. So I'm gonna let Natalia um, fill you guys in on how her week has been going so far at our new school. And then we are gonna get into a little something. Don't forget to give the live a thumbs up once you're on. 
give us a thumbs up and yeah we'll move on yeah so the first day of school well i was nervous to be on the boat and well i shouldn't have been nervous at all because it went well when i go to school i get to meet the principal and my teachers and bishop says a good school and so i'm happy i didn't go the second the second day now i wake up four well soon he wake me up four o'clock then i be no 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 i never wake you up at four o'clock because i don't wake up at four o'clock i wake you up at five minutes to five o'clock <laughs> that's the time you wake up oh mm -hmm. i did not know that four o'clock is too early yeah, so um, how, how has school been going so far? Good, for now. Okay, your classes so far, which is your favorite um, class? Let me see. I have to think real hard about it. Okay, so while you're thinking about that, hey, good night, Vortial girl. Hi, Robin. Welcome, welcome to the live. Yes, yeah, so while you're thinking about that question, then. I think I should ask you about um, some of the programs that you would have signed up for in school, the extracurricular activities that are not your regular classes. Well, I signed up for the Red Cross and who knows Christ. Okay, so you're not doing any music? Oh yeah, I couldn't find the music room, so I'm missing. <laughs> the pan room? No, the music, the addition room for like, you know, join the choir, I have to sing for them and so I can see. For the audition? Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully you'll get into that next time. Yes, before we continue this live, let us remind if you are new here, you just joined us. We welcome you and uh, welcome to the family. When you join us, please give us a thumbs up. Yes, give us a thumbs up. Virtual girl is saying good night to you. Good night. <laughs> yes, we want to shout out some people. Yes, give a special shout out to um our donors, the people who would have donated uh, to our show so far in the past weeks. So first on our list, our first donor we had uh, Michael. Thank you. And Becky Kitty. A special thank you for the money as well for me st cloud and Verine leach thank you very much auntie beverly and vivian thank you a lot and the newest donor we have on board is the high rider remember high rider um, would have um, been our giveaway donor for last week so he's our newest donor and don't forget you want to take a cruise link us up we link you up with the high rider Best boat on the water. Yeah, the captain. Very reliable. Very friendly. Guys, you can't go wrong with the high rider. Yes, captain and its crew. Mm -hmm. So we like to big up everybody. As well as all our subscribers. All you guys who participate, who join us here on Friday night. Especially those who would have been around from day one. And I know Natalia has her favorite pick. But your girl, who else? But your girl, yes, you have been around from the beginning. Michael, Becky, Kitty, Troy, you know, you, you know, you know it, yes. We don't want to get in trouble, but you know it, right? You know the know, all right? So, yes, remember our topic. So, but before the topic, as I say, if we can remember that michael are you here because um i was hey hi hi sarah welcome welcome don't forget to give us a thumbs up michael if you're on please let me know because what i am going to say here has to do with you so if you're there if you're here please let me know let me look for that conversation because if you remember us um, last week, we were speaking 
Hey, good night, Dara. Good night. Welcome, welcome. Last week we were speaking about, um, you know, when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. And um, you basically can't um, go in another man's country and speak to them as you're speaking. Well, if we're using our dialect, they won't understand what we are saying. And just to um, bring that out, I was having a conversation with Michael. <laughs> yes, Michael. I was having a conversation with Michael. And he, in turn, was having a conversation with someone else because he was trying to purchase something. So I am speaking to him in dialect. He's responding to me in our twang. And then he turned to the lady and he said, I want one of daddy. <laughs> yes, he was one of that and the lady was like, What? So yes, so that's why we're saying um I am not judging anybody when they leave our shores and they go to another man's country and they adapt the accent. Hey, virtual girl, everybody else, I'm not sure if you guys are noticing anything or if there has been an improvement. Hi, hey Seanette, welcome. Let us know if there has been an improvement in the audio because we are using this new baby. You see, um, Vortel girl, look at her man, look at it, look at it. We got professional mic. Wait, my phone calling? My camera for me calling you. <laughs> yes, so yes, we're gonna get into our program and um, I'd like to big up the members of the Padgett Farm Police Youth Club as well. I'm not sure if any one of them are on here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I don't know if anybody is on here from the club. But big up to you guys. And uh, yes, Troy, I forgot you are here. Yes, big up to you guys. And I want you guys to continue being focused. And continue yes sticking out with us yes yeah, so we have a few questions a little just few just about four before we get into the actual topic and this topic came about um, from a story well not a story yes we got fancy light too Woo -hoo. <laughs> yes uh, my dad was sharing something with me which I found really yeah this is full so that is where the topic came from and i'm gonna share that story with you as well so yes the meat of the matter very easy um questions tonight seeing that you guys didn't do well in the bible um trivia last week i decided to bring back four easy bible questions and the first one is, how many wives did King Solomon have? How many wives and concubines did King Solomon have? Yeah, it's warm. That's why I didn't put that in the light overhead. Yay. Okay, Fantana, very good. Welcome, Fantana. 700 wives. How many concubines? I know some people messages get delayed so 300 concubines 700 wives Fantana you're on the ball Fantana hey don't forget we still have the giveaway from Steve I collected the the cash already so this upcoming week I'm gonna be doing the distribution and at the end of the night you're gonna basically know who he has 300 concubines and 700 wives. Whoa, how did he do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, um, who was King David's father? Who was King David's father? You tired? You want to take a break? Sure. Take a break in the meantime. I will call you back. Who was King David's father? 
Anybody agree with um, Fontana, who was King David's father? Okay, she says, Jesse. Yes, Troy, 700 wife, Troy. And you can't even get half of that, eh? <laughs> Natalia is laughing. Natalia is tired. Natalia, pass the water to me, please. Yes, 700 wives. So, Jesse, that's right. Jesse is um, King David's father so fantana girl okay what are the names of the three wise men in the bible who took the gifts um to baby jesus what are the names of those three wise men Three wise men, what are the names? Anybody? 700 wives, that's right, Sarah. 700 wives. Now it's illegal in our country to have more than one wife. Yeah, seven. So who are the three wise men? No, those are the gifts. More frankincense and gold, those are the gifts. Anybody okay before tell me also she never knew the names? Anybody else? Is there anybody who knows the names? Okay, I'm gonna count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So seeing that nobody has answered that, the names, if you research it, well, I would have thought about Caspar, but in researching, I realized it's Gaspar, or they call it one person, refer to that one person by three names. So Gaspar, or he could have been called Caspar, or Galalat. Yes, Con, I know you would have to Google that. Mm-hmm, I know that. Hey, yes, Malone, well, hey, welcome, my son, welcome. Yes, Casper, you could give me um the other two names. I know you, when it comes to Bible questions and trivias, you would have been um big up in them thing when you were younger. So don't forget to give the live a thumbs up if you have just joined us. Yeah, so Casper, the next name starts with a M. That's a clue. The next name starts with an M. Hey, Juicy Nose, welcome, man, welcome. Okay, you don't know the rest. So Casper, Melkaya, anybody ever heard that name? Um, Melikaya, anybody ever heard that name? And Baltazar. Uh, Baltasa, anybody ever heard those names? Right. And the next one is Baltasa. Right, so that is something that you learn tonight. And the last question before we get into the topic is, what is the last book of the Bible, of the Old Testament, sorry. What is the last book in the Old Testament? Let me see who is going to grab the Bible to try and flick through. Who is going to grab their Bible to try and flick through? Who is going to grab it? No, no, Revelations. No, no, no. Listen to me. Not in the Bible entirely. In the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. What is the um, last book of the Old Testament? Remember the Old Testament begun begins in genesis so the bible itself is from genesis to revelation but we would see revelation coming at the end of the um micah is it micah try again try again malachi who Whose Bible fans are not taking? 
Micah and Malachi. Malachi, okay, so we have two Malachi. <laughs> okay, Malone, I think you being um, does enough the Bible let you do a quick quick switch to your um phone. Eh? Yes, but the answer is Malachi. So thank you guys. Those who didn't know, now you know the last book in the Old Testament is Malachi. Right? So we are going to get into our topic. And in, for this topic, I would need your participation, right? So, where has the love gone? Where has the love gone? So, before I tell you the story, I'm going to tell you about the different types of love, right? Those of us who go to church, basically, in, especially in some churches, you would hear them speaking about the different types of love. So, in order for us to go into this topic, I decided to shed some light on those different types of love. Alright? So, no, not canon. So, the four different types of love I found in my research. They are Eros, the Eros love, right? Which is basically the romantic love. You know, when you tell somebody, I love you, baby. Yes? That's the Eros love when you love somebody so much that you want to get married to them and stuff like that. Yes, that, that, that's the Eros, the E-R-O-S. Eros. Yeah, that love. The next one is Storge, and these are Greek words, right? Storge, S-T-O-R-G-E. And that is basically the love between family members. Hey guys, if you have just joined us, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> Tonight we are speaking about love. Yeah, where has the love gone? So Storge, S-T-O-R-G-E, as I said a while ago, is the love between family members. And uh, Philia, P-H-I-L-I-E. Trust me, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these words correctly. That's why I'm spelling them. Philia, P-H-I-L-I-E. That's the deep emo emotional bond that connects two people, mainly exemplified in friendship, right? They kind of um, love that. You know yourself, love thy neighbor as thyself. That kind of love there that you would have for your good friend that is not, um, you know, that is not a love that you want to jump into bed with them for. Yeah, that is the, the filial love, right? And the agape. For those persons who go to church a lot, especially some of those Pentecostal churches, I'm sure you would hear them talking about agape love. So the agape love basically is the love that um, Jesus demonstrated when he died on the cross for, for us, basically. It's the love that, that we share between God, that is shared between God and us. All right, so those are the four types of love that um the bible that you would find basically the bible referring to okay so my question to you guys the bible say to love thy neighbor as thyself right and when he said your neighbor he basically it basically doesn't mean have to be the person who live next door to you it's basically anybody that you would have um you come into contact with but you know sometimes my gosh you look at some people even in church you look at the faces of some people and you wonder if you can really do that <laughs> and some neighbors some people you come into contact with are very miserable so yeah somebody help me here how do you interpret that basically love thy neighbor as thyself so is it that if you love yourself much 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 then you're going to be friendly with your neighbors whoever you meet but if you're somebody who is miserable then i think i think i get it here guys i'm not a scholar so i need do we have any um any bible study people in here Boy, y'all gone quiet, boy. Nobody talking to me tonight. Sarah, the beach was lovely. Sarah got um, burnt. 
Yeah, the beach was very, very good today. Yes, yeah, so nobody um nobody wanna speak about love? Where has the love gone? Nobody wanna speak about love? Ooh. Uh, is it that my my um let me see if the chat working. <laughs> yeah, the chat working. Okay, let me give you the story that was shared with me, right? Natalia is sleeping. Natalia's beat. Yes, um, the story that was shared with me, right? I was told that um, there's this elderly lady. She's 97, going to be 98 years old pretty soon. And um, she has a problem. Okay. The love you, it basically means that the love you hopes to receive from others, you must reciprocate it. Good explanation. That's true. Because it basically said do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Yeah, my sister should have been sitting next to me. She did um, a theology course. <laughs> yes, but the story, yes. Um, yeah. So, the scenario, 97-year-old lady, she's going to be 98 in a few weeks, on the 25th of um, September, well, this month, she's going to be 98 years old. She was taken to the doctor, not feeling well, private doctor. There are other people that were there, but the question was asked to them kindly to allow this lady to see the doctor only because um, of her age and her condition, she wouldn't... It's hard to have her sitting around for that length of period, that length of time. And uh, do you know that some people who were there that um, profess to be Christians and, uh, yeah, people high up in society basically ignored the request, except for one lady, and that's why I will support... I would support her. Yes, I would support her business. Yes, for one lady who um, decided to let the old lady get her space, but then her space was way down the line as well, so the old lady still had to end up waiting late. That's right. So that is why um, I know, oh my gosh, I wish, wish my father was here. Yes, because he is the one that was... Um, making the request yes and my father is not happy about what happened because it seems that people well basically some people don't have any love for the elders you know for the elderly people in um, our society everybody is just thinking about themselves and the sweetest thing about this are uh, may i say yes my father <laughs> My father said, um, after the people refused to give her the space to see the doctor first, everybody wants to go in first, at the end of it, they still had to wait be uh, on the medication because the pharmacist wasn't feeling well. So he was like, you see, if they were waiting on the medication to save the life, they refused to give up the space for the old lady and they had to wait a couple days now to get the medication from the pharmacy so it's like they should have died if they were supposed to die they would have died even though um they went in to see the doctor before the lady okay my father said when there was one church in the island we had more love than we have now yes that is true because um there's a saying that religion and politics sort of um, drive people apart. Hey, Jaden, good night. Welcome. Yes, you miss Natalia. You miss Natalia. Natalia was on, but she um, she's sleeping now. <laughs> yeah, she's tired, so she, she has gone to sleep. But we are just discussing a topic 
of love. Yes, and I hope um, you being a youngster that you would have love, you would share love um, for the elders. Yes, because without the elders, there would be no us, right? So we have to look after our old people. All right, so yes, and I was saying, where has the love gone? I can never love my neighbor like I love myself, simply because I am myself and my neighbor can never be like myself. <laughs> I will always love myself unconditionally because I know myself. <laughs> Juicy nose, boy, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. Oh, thank you, baby. Yes, I understand. You live next to me? Jaden, you are living next to me? If you're living next to me, then you could have been in, in the seat sitting on the live. So I'm going to invite you to come join us on our live next time, right? Would you like to join us on the live? Yes. So yes, and I was wondering where has the love gone as well because um you know you listen to the to the radio, you put on the news, and then you hear bam bam, somebody is killed. Like they were talking about I read um where this last shooting where they said a guy was waiting in the bushes there with the mask and they were wondering why nobody do any, did anything but then one thing about that a lot of people because of covid there are some people that still wears a mask so i'm not sure if people were thinking that he's just somebody that's wearing a mask okay Jalen. so then the offer is open to you so next time we're going to have our live i'm going to expect you to come over okay yes so yes so where has the love gone and <laughs> we were in conversation some time ago because this love basically is all over the place because we know love is a very big topic and uh, we were talking well you're coming now <laughs> you're coming when natalia is sleeping natalia natalia is sleeping Yes, um, two people were speaking and they were speaking about, you know, relationships. You know, back in the days, is like, I don't know who listened to Pastor, to the, the service um, that I shared, the sermon that I shared that was done by the Adventist Pastor. Yes, I don't know if anybody listened that, but we know that there are some people in relationship, especially like the people from, the, from before, like, you know, you get married to somebody and you know that um, as a wife, you're supposed to submit to your husband, right? But there are some husband who beat their wives, right? Who would want to treat their wife any wishy-washy way. And there are some women that would sit down and take that blows, right? They will take it. Why? I'm not sure. <laughs> because I know me one for sure, I ain't sitting down and taking no stripping from nobody. Right? But then what they were saying now is like the norm, what's happening now, young people are getting married. And um hey, good night, Jocelyn. Welcome. We are speaking about the love. We're basically wondering where the love has gone. Yes, basically we were speaking about a scenario where um, um, an old lady, well, for the persons in Beckway, yes, I'd like to big up Cousin Mama. I have a little video that I'll share with her, most likely tomorrow. Yes, so who don't know her would get to know her. Yes, Cousin Mama has a little problem, but she is still basically full of life, despite her little condition. Yeah. Yeah, so in relationships, yes. Two young people get married because I was asking the question I saw somebody I was asking wait 
where is the person wife and I was told that the person got married today he had a big wedding and in a couple days after the wife left and went back home yes this is not a Nigerian movie we're looking at this is this is real so the person partner left so somebody was saying <laughs> yeah that's true the older folks I think those of us who would have grown up around older people it seems that we are more able to um to show the love we're basically able to share love to be kind to each other, to um other people to get up and give that person our seat because you know sometimes you go to a place and an elderly walks in and you see some big men and all sort of stuff which sit down and lap the, the foot, the hand on the foot, and then bam, the old person is left there to stand. Yeah, so these days people don't um, respect. Yes, um, virtual girl. So what the person was saying is that um, it seems that people no longer sit and try to iron things out because there are simple things that you know can cause um especially because you know when you get married it's two different people that come together it's two different um culture two different background even though you are from the same island or the same country you're basically bringing two different culture into that one um household because the way that you were brought up probably would have been the other person would have been brought up a different way right so all of that um basically comes into play so i did this to the first three years if you can make it through the first three years of a marriage then it's easy to to continue along that line but sometimes that not that's not how it goes no 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 i think some of the persons who who said who basically came up with those storybook um, things, they need to go back to the drawing board, right? So let me ask you guys a question. I mean, we have some young people on the, um, the live. Fantana, are you there still? I know we have some young people on the live. And uh, yeah, you, I don't know if anybody would have um, witnessed the parents being treated in any you know, some men in the past, because, you know, the, the woman must submit. They want to treat the woman up. They have the woman doing all the work and them just coming home because they bring home the money, they treat down the, and they expecting the mother, the woman, to just ch -ch -ch -ch, like a little robot for them. <laughs> and then if the woman says something, they quick for lash out at them. Okay, Jaden, I love you too. So you have a good night, right? And make sure to pay attention to your teacher. Pay attention to your teacher. And what grade are you in now though? Yes, yeah, so we, we basically, um, we have to look at these things because in society, a lot has changed. Our culture basically has changed. And it seems that some of the good things we are basically throwing them out and we are adapting some of the um, things that are not so good. But um, yes, what your girl said that she's not going to stick around. Okay, so what your girl had, um, okay, my stepfather tried that with my mom and I put him in his place. He respect us up to this day. I was around 16 years old. Wow. What a girl. What a girl. You are a powerhouse. <laughs> yes. So you would have. Um, yes. But I am happy that your stepfather um, come around. Because I know there, was, um, there are two people who was in a relation. Well, they are still married to this day. But that woman was seeing hell from that husband you understand every time he goes out sometimes he come back see drink and his help and one day she couldn't take it anymore she pulled a cutlass when he went at her he pulled a cut she pulled a cutlass at him 
and that was the end of the trials and tribulations for that lady she didn't cut him she just retaliated and that was the end of the trials and tribulations for that lady right now sometimes i don't even see the man yeah but he's still around <laughs> yes so yes so um we are gonna um move on because oh you're ungrateful okay well i'm hoping that next year you're going to be heading to grade five okay so all the best in your studies and you just remember to stay focused on your schoolwork because it seems that you hope um hope you do by the way you have a girlfriend <laughs> Jaden is showing me with love Jaden, do you have a, a little girlfriend because if you have a little girlfriend she um Jaden hasn't hasn't come up he he probably would come on the live next week. I think it's too late for Jaden to be out at this time. Right, Jaden? You're one of the athletes. So then I'm supposed to know you. If you're one of the athletes, I should know who you are. Yeah, well, you're going to come um, next time you pass down my side. Yes, just... And you once you see me at home, just come and shout me up. I'll have something for you. Okay? Yes, yeah, so we are gonna get back into this. Um we're gonna get back, try to get back on track. It seems that um the love has actually gone away because it seems that some people are afraid to speak about love. <laughs> And I think some people are even afraid to say I love you to somebody else because you know some people take it differently because there's a saying there are some people is like you smile you watch them and you smile they think you love them as in you want to be with them right but we never know when it will be the last time that we are going to see somebody so I think if we have somebody that we are close to I don't think it's anything um, you don't even have to be close to the person. Yeah, for somebody to say, I love you. Am I wrong? Is it wrong for somebody who is a total stranger to tell you, I love you? I mean, it depends on how you take it. Oh, okay, because I notice um, the comments are coming in like slow. Hey, Michael. I'm not hearing your take. What do you think? What do you think? It seems like the topic love has sent some people running. <laughs> so it seems like the love has gone. You want to come, Jaden? If you want to come, if you're living close to me and your, your mommy would allow you to come, then yes, you can come and so the people can see who is Jaden. You can come once your mommy is allowing you to, if you're living close by. Yes, yeah, so okay. I'm going to share this, um, this thought with you guys, right? Switching a little bit of the the love topic you know we have um i know i have young people in the audience some people may not be participating but that's right sarah but you know sometimes in these small islands you tell you say i love you to somebody and next thing you hear your name gone somebody gone with your name for say you did with that person eh? yes i think um it, it will depend on the setting because when you're in church in some churches and they're greeting there is a greeting time you would hear people say I love you I love you I love you right <laughs> I think it depends it depends on the context it depends on the context right it depends on the, 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 the context that somebody says I love you 
because um, sometimes you're having a conversation with somebody and at the end of it, you just say, they will say, I love you. It say, I love you too. Blam, blam, blam. Yeah. Oh, yes, well, I know Jaden. Yes, I know Jaden very well. Yes, yeah, so Jaden, next time you pass by, yeah, your daddy would um, show me up. Right, yeah, that's why I was saying, but tell you, depend on the situation. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go wrong. It's love. It's love, that's right. It's love that make the world, the world go wrong. Because if you're speaking to somebody and they say, I hate you. Hmm. Yes, you know what I mean? Well, Jada, you would have to be on an evening live when the sun is shining, right? So next time we're doing a, a day live when the sun is shining, your daddy is going to... um let you come and I'll have some Natalie will be up and other children and you guys can be on the live okay once your daddy is okay with it yeah so yes yes juicy knows it's love that makes the world go round sis I guess the world's still full of love because the world's still going around <laughs> boy boy you making me laugh, boy. That's true. No, I, I, yeah, I want to find that strange. I know you for quite some time now because of YouTube and I say I love you guys. I'm sure you won't find it weird or strange. No, I won't. What Michael was saying. Oh, yeah, Michael was saying basically the same because he said some people, sometimes they are hidden agendas. Yeah, that's true. Because there are some people who basically say I love you to see what response they would get back from you. And I think some people, if, if you say, if somebody says I love you and you say I love you too, they take it as though you want to be with them. Right? But they are, they are the understanding people who would know that if I say I love you, it's basically... What's the kind of love we were talking about earlier? Remember, we were talking about a different kind of love. So when I say I love you to you guys, I'm basically talking about the um, the storage love or the filial love, right? That's what I'm talking about. But if I say I love you to Michael, I'm speaking about the eros love, right? My family members is a storage love. So remember, there are different kind of love. So it depends, as you rightfully say, on the situation. Yeah, that's true about your girl. Yeah, so it's love that makes the world go round. And I know that um, there's a lot of love in this, in this room. Yes, as in, in the... You guys who are looking on here, I know that you guys have a lot of love because you are here. Yeah, so that means you love me, <laughs> and I love you guys too. Hi, Lucky Singh. Welcome. Welcome to the live. If you're new here, when you come on, you give us a thumbs up. Yes, give us a thumbs up. We're basically speaking about love, the different types of love, and different scenarios. I can't answer that now, Jaden. As a man, I would not tell another woman that I love them unless they are a close family member. It depends on the situation. Because, say for example, you're speaking to um, somebody that you know. They don't have to be your close family member, but they're your close friend. You're close to that person. You're having a conversation with them. Uh, they are going through some, you know, they are going through some emotionally, some emotional breakdown or something like that. And you have to let that person know that somebody loves them. You know, you have to let that person know that somebody loves them. So despite what they are going through, there is still love there for them. And you as a friend can say to that person, I love you. Right? I love you. That is not the eros love. That doesn't mean that I want 
to be with that person. Okay, so it's Naya. Hi, Naya. Good night to you, baby girl. Okay, we're talking about the love people had for one another in the community. All people share with their neighbor. Those were the days we had no electricity. That's true. Because I remember growing up, guys, you see this word love? You see the different, the different meanings the word love has? Yes, because as my father just um, touched there, I remember hearing stories my parents will tell us that um, sometimes they, when they light a fire, like say for example, this house starts a fire and the other one wants to start their fire. So instead of taking a match and striking it, you run to the neighbor to ask the neighbor for a little piece of fire, please, and a little something and you run and you put it back instead of your... To, to start your fire so that you can prepare your, your breakfast, your dinner, whatever you have to prepare. And they would say those were the good old days. You know, because people, people reached out to others. People loved other people. Right? They showed love. Right? In that um, context. You run out of um, some salt, you could have run to your neighbor and say, um, lend me a piece of salt, please. Some salt, please. I'll lend me, you know, them kind of thing. I grew up in that era because we grew up um, for a very long time without electricity in Jaliso. Yes, I went to secondary school. I went into secondary school, graduated before we had electricity in Jaliso. So I know, I know back in those days, yeah. <laughs> yes, I know it, man. I know it. Yes, yeah, so. I am just going to pause a little just to share this with um, this thought, right? Because, um, and it, it would come right back to what we are speaking about because it has to do with the mind. I miss those days without all the ink. Yes, that's true. I had such fun back then when neighbors got along well with each other. Yeah, and help out as well. Yes, that's true. That's very true. Right. So you see, we still um so those of us who know that we basically would have to share that with um our household, our children, our um younger siblings, nieces, nephews, anybody that we come into contact with. From the mouth of the babe, from the brain of the babe, Jaden says, not of your feelings for people. If they are sad, don't leave people behind because there are some people help. There are some, I believe he means there are some people that help. So that's from the mind of a babe. Right? So we have to um, we have to have love. For anybody we contact, we come in contact with, if somebody says, I love you, and they have um, intentions, it's up to the person who is receiving that to let them know that, um, yes, I love you, but not in, um, not in the way that you're, you're talking about. Because you will know, especially if you're seeing that person, if you're speaking to that person one-on-one. Um, -on -one. My niece lives next door to you, minutes away. Okay. Well, Sarah, like I have to have a, um, a little children live so you would let me know. So you, you would let your niece know and let me know who your niece is and see how we can bring these children. We can have something for these children. Yes. Juicy you know, sometimes I don't think like is taken over love though. <laughs> I think that's why we're having a love problem these days. Throughout the world, especially in Russia and Ukraine. Oh my gosh. Don't even talk about Russia and Ukraine. 
I'm not sure if I know who, who Daria is. Yes, don't talk about Russia and Ukraine. Yes. There's a lot of hatred happening up there. because That's why I was saying, if somebody says, I love you, or I hate you, if, if you're speaking to somebody and they ask, and they say, man, I hate you. Man, you feel like a box on the person. Right? So it's better somebody say, I love you, than I hate you. Sorry, Naya. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Naya. It's how you're using, um, how you're using your mom's um, name there. So, Michael, I want you to check your phone, your WhatsApp message if you're listening. Please check your WhatsApp mes message. Yeah, so what I was going to say, right, about your mind. The quote that I have here, your mind is a powerful thing, right? When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change, right? But if you fill your mind with negative thoughts, then it means that you're going to be li living on a negative trend. Because there are some people who believe that, um, man, I've been doing this thing here this way. Uh, I'm living my life this how I can't change. I ain't changing for nobody. You understand? <laughs> but sometimes, depending on the situation, especially when you're not living on your own, you're not your own. We like to say, man, I'm my own man and my own woman. Yes? But um, we have to be very careful. So, unless we are... Fully independent, as in you're single, you're making your own money, then you can um, say those things. Sorry, I'm just um, checking something here. Yes, um, Michael is going to be doing a giveaway tonight, and the guys don't. Don't think I forget um, the giveaway for, from High Rider because I am planning to go to the mainland because in the mainland you get better deals. I am planning to go to the mainland sometime next in this upcoming week. So I am going to have those things and I'm going to... I'm not going to tell you who is going to be getting but you're going to be seeing me, right? You're, I'm going to just pop up and I'm just going to give you what I have for you because I know who was on the live last week. Yes, so yes, as we were saying, like some people, for example, would be drinking or smoking, and they might say, boy, I can't stop this, I can't change that. You understand, I'm trying. Yeah, but if you keep saying you can't, then you're defeating yourself, right? Same goes for any, there may be a, a problem, something in school that you're doing, and it's like, Man, I can't do this, I can't do that. You understand? So, but if you tell yourself that I can, you understand, I can do this, then you basically never know. Yeah, we have the ability to do a lot of things that some of us not even realizing within ourselves. Yes, you know, there are other, sometimes other people will look at you and say, you have um, potential. Because I was telling somebody that they have a lot of potential. And they were asking me, where I know about them? <laughs> you understand? Okay, Michael's um, question. For the um the giveaway right let me see okay michael is willing to give um a top up <laughs> but i think 20 can you give 20 or oh, you would have to give it in two different um if you're doing it online you'd have to do it in two different times yeah, but Michael's question for the giveaway, keep this in mind. Who was the first parliamentary representative of Beckway? That's his first question. Remember, 
Anybody who answers it correctly at the end of the, the live, because we are basically counting on, we are almost at an hour. So anybody who answers that question correctly, you are going to get 20 US dollars credit. Okay. Fantana, Fantana, you brave. Yes, I know you bought this coming up. I know you bought this coming up. You bought this Wednesday? Oh, yeah, the 13th. Yes. Okay, my father is saying, I remember a fisherman just coming from fishing. And on his way going home, people beg him for a fish and end up giving away all his fish. But when he reached home and his wife asked him, I'm coming back. So basically, he gave away everything while the wife is waiting to collect to collect um that money i mean that fish sorry i got um i got sidetracked there sorry i'm chatting with um with michael okay so let me see so far we have the answer we have Dr. Sidney Gunn Monroe. Okay, before we get that, um, Vertel Girl, yes, they probably don't know what having a lot of potential means, so they took an offense to it. <laughs> Trust me, the person who I'm speaking about knows, knows what, um, what I mean, but I think he was just trying to be difficult. You know, sometimes um, some people they're basically going through certain things and you know they don't want you to tell them anything so they basically come with any just respond any wishy-washy way so yes yeah, so the answer the answers that are coming out so far dr sydney gun monroe clive tannis clive tannis cyril mitchell clive tannis Juicy knows Dumont Oliver was the first rep of Beckway, but for only five days before he quit. <laughs> but when you want a comedy show, eh? Hey guys, Juicy knows that's one of my brother. I think I have to bring him on the live, live, live when he's in Beckway. Yeah, that's the father of my nieces, my beautiful nieces. Yes. Alexia Aria. And Alexia wants to be like Auntie Suni. Alexia wants to be um, a YouTuber as well. Alexia has her own YouTube channel. Yes, she um I think she has just one video or two videos on it so far. But you just subscribe to Alexia Oliver and you're gonna get into her channel. Yes. So my brother is saying that my father was the first rep of Beckway for only five days. That's just a joke, eh? <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> So we have, let me write down these names, eh? Okay, I'm taking the, the names for these and the answers so I won't get la lost. Okay, so Fantana said Gun Monroe, Dormot, Clive, Tanis, Seanette, Clive, Jocelyn. Remember, it's one answer you're giving us. Um, your first answer is with Sanze. Eh? So, Fantana, your first answer was Dr. Sidney Gunn Monroe. Jocelyn Cyril. So, anybody else?
Okay, so anybody else wants to try that question? Remember the question? Let me go back up and read that question. Michael, where is the question? Who was the first parliament? Who was the first parliamentary representative of Beckway? Remember, your first answer is what stands. Now it seems like you go run and ask mommy the answer. Yeah, the first answer is what stands. We are going to be um, closing off pretty soon. So we are going to get those names, those winning names. So by the, um, let me see what the time is. It's 9.30. Woo! So I'm already 9.30. I'm going to start putting the names on paper. I don't want to give you the answers yet. But we have some correct answers there. So I'm going to start getting them on the paper. Wait, I'm not seeing... Um, back with Kitty tonight. I hope that he is doing he is okay. And guys, don't forget that you can um, support the live by giving super chat. You're supposed to see like a kind of a money sign where you can um, chat. You can press that and you can make a donation. Okay, so my father's continue the story. So you say, so you, so she said you gave away all the fish, and I waiting on the fish to cook with the fungi, and you gave away all the fish, and his wife, <laughs> his wife went back down the hill and take back all the fish that he gave away. So you see that is the man wife, the man was so generous that he gave away everything and went home to his wife empty-handed. So the wife in turn went back down the road, met everybody who he gave the fish to, and took, me, took away the fish. Hmm, who will do that? Yes, virtual girl, I'm going to definitely bring back some more riddles, trust me. Okay, let me write these names if I forget. Where's my glasses? Because we are counting down, we are counting down. So it seems that so far we only have um how much people answer one, two, three, four. Okay, so only four persons participating in the in the, the um the giveaway. So nobody else wants to try. Remember your first answers that stands. I hope nobody is um typing and it's in delay. Remember this is for twenty US dollars. If nobody else um is participating, I think we'll wrap it up. You can give um you can try you 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 may be right, you may be wrong, don't be afraid to try. Right, don't be afraid to try. Hey, to the marks, um, 19 years since Hurricane, I, Hurricane Ivan, I sound like the Jamaican Hurricane, Hurricane Ivan would have hit um, Grenada. Right, so I am giving thanks for being a survivor of Hurricane Ivan because I was in Grenada when Hurricane Ivan hit and um, basically destroyed a part of the house and had me seeking shelter in the middle of the night yes okay so Jaden, you're only nine years old you yeah your baby you ca oh you're calling your daddy to ask your daddy the, the answer <laughs> 
So Jaden, are you if you're gonna come with an answer, I'll wait on you. If not, we are going to wrap things up. So I'm giving you the opportunity. Sell all that you have, give it to the poor, and come and follow me, boy. Not even a preacher them doing nothing they know we because the preacher them want more and more and more. Yeah, nobody they're not giving to the poor, they want to receive and receive and receive. Yes, so Jada, let me know if you're um if you're coming with an answer so that I can wait a few more minutes. So just tell me yes, you're waiting on an you're waiting on your daddy to help you or oh, no. So that I can um do this draw. In the meantime, I want to say happy birthday in advance to um, Fantana. Yes, who is going to be celebrating her birthday on the 13th. Yes, that's on Wednesday. So, happy birthday in advance, Fantana. And the next birthday coming up would be... Is it the 15th or the 18th? Boy, I write a number there. And that's um, Becky Kitty's daughter. Okay, you're going to set that one out. I'm just waiting on Jaden. I want to give Jaden an opportunity. So let me see if Jaden is going to come up with an answer. So just bear with us a few more minutes. Let's see if Jaden is going to come up with an answer. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you the weather forecast. Yes, for the week, for the night. Oh, you were saying your daddy's name is Macri. Oh, I thought you were going to ask your daddy to help you to answer the question. Ask your daddy who was the first parliamentary representative of Beckway. And if you answer it right, then you get a chance to win 20 US dollars um, phone credit. Right, so you know, 20 US dollars is 50 something dollars. Right here, we gave you $52 for, um, in phone credit, which this is the hurricane season, so it goes a long way. And the weather forecast, yes, I heard this um, from one of the church, the um, guy who was giving the, the notices. So I'm going to share it with you. He said, the weather forecast for the rain is simply the Lord rains, the sun, um, sh the sun shines, and there will be many showers of blessings. Right? Hey, Mapo P, welcome. We were just wondering where you are. We were asking a question for a giveaway for 20 US dollars. I don't think you're going to participate in that because you've got to give it to somebody. <laughs> Yeah, but who was the first parliamentary representative of Beckway? Okay, so Jaden seems not to be um, so I'm gonna go with the the answers that I hear so far. Right? So if after I call the answer, if anybody comes in, then it means that you are late, right? And you will not be placed in the draw. So the name of the first parliamentary representative. Hey, Jaden. Yes, the name of the first parliamentary representative of Beckway is none other. Oh, you fell asleep, so you came in at the end. Yes, the name of the first representative of Beckway is none other than my godfather. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows who my godfather is, or was then you would know who that person is and that person sadly died yeah so the name of the first parliamentary representative of Beckway was the honorable if you don't know if you didn't know it Clive Tannis right so somebody said Gun Monroe Gun Monroe I was told would have um, Gun Monroe and Cyril Mitchell 
they both would have been contesting around the same time, but Clive Tannis would have won. So Michael, am I right there? So what we're gonna do, the two persons who answered correctly is um, Dormut, well, that's my dad, and Seanet Sargent, right? So we are gonna put those two names in a little something something Charlotte and Dermot as like I was the any mini minor more hold on let me get something to put it into <laughs> she Natalia busting some some big snowy boy hold on just bear with me I'm going to get something Natalia, mm -hmm. you're going to come, 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 Yes, Clive Leonard Tannis. Yeah, that was my um my godfather. And he died. Yeah, she is because she gotta wake up. I wake her up around five o'clock in the morning. And then after school she went to the police youth club. Um thank you for that super chat, um Mapopi. After school she went to the um what do you call it this? Police youth club meeting, so and then she went to visit her, her, her mom. And then now she's here. Okay, so I'm going to do the draw. Where the paper in there? And the lucky winner is... My glasses there. Dormot Oliver. So Dormot Oliver, you are the lucky winner of the 50 US dollars giveaway. Mapopi tonight, we basically were dealing, we were speaking about love, you know, because it seems that um, love has been swept out of the door, some how or the other. Yeah, my father was speaking about um, an incident where he took cousin mama to the, the doctor, asked for her to get an early attendance, and the people who were there, they refused that old lady. Yes, but thank God, she's okay. Yes, and um, despite her condition, she's still in high spirits. I have a video because I visited her. Yes, congratulations, Dormot. Congratulations to you. Sorry, 20 US dollars. Yes, 20 US dollars is 50 EC dollars. 50, 52 EC dollars. Yes, yeah, so you have won yourself 20 US dollars in phone credit. And I know that uh, that can go a very long way for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um yes, yeah, so I have a video because I went and I spent um what it was I in jelly. So anyways, I went down at the end of the week. So I went to visit her. I was like a nurse there. So we um had a little chit chat as usual. I love to speak to cousin mama. She's full of um, kicks, a lot of information. She's going to be celebrating her 98th birthday on the 25th of this month. So let's pray that, um, yeah, what the things that um, she's battling, that they are healed and that she will be able to have a nice day as usual with family and friends because 98 years her husband died when he was i think 100 101 her husband uncle honest yes he was my great uncle so she told me the other day that she's heading for that and she's hoping to pass that age right so i'm gonna share that video with you guys tomorrow it's a short video but I'm going to share because I, I didn't go there intentionally to record her. But while there, 
we were having certain conversation and I was like, hey, other people need to hear this. So we just went from one thing to the other. I had to do some editing, of course, and um, because we don't want to upset anybody. Yes, we had to do some editing. So I think it's good to go. Right? So take care of yourselves and thank you for joining and thank you once again Makopi for that um, super chat I really appreciate it yes thank you very much and uh, um, I was trying to explain to somebody how to do the super chat but um, they didn't understand I don't know so perhaps you can um, let them know how to do it how to do the super chat yeah how you get it done because on my screen that I'm looking at I'm not seeing I am not seeing the button on my screen. Oh, you missed Natalia. Natalia um, went to sleep. Yes, yeah, she's tired. But she was on very, very early. Yes, that's the same lady. The lady with the railing. <laughs> yes. Her, um, her nephew would have um, trusted me to get materials to, to get her railing built. Yeah. Very sweet um, lady. Yes, um, she wanted to say thanks to you. Well, she said it. Yes, yeah, she said thanks to you all year for, um, for the gifts that you would have sent. You would have sent her um, a Mahopi. So, you missed her. I tried waking her, but she's still sleeping. You welcome, Dara. You welcome. Yes, and thanks to all those persons again who would have donated. I mentioned the name at the beginning. I'll just recap. So we had Michael, Beckwick Hitty, um, Sincloud and his wife Vireen, Beverly and her brother Vivian, and we have the High Rider. So guys, next week we are coming back on stream with our trivias. So get yourself together and we are going to be getting back into the Caribbean and see how far in the outer world we can go and start studying your Bibles, guys, because we are going to be doing something from the Bible as well. And Bekwe, Mapopi, you notice anything? Yeah, man. I'll show you hearing me, you hearing me clearer. We get mic. Well, I had the mic from since um, Michael came home the last time. But this is the first time that I'm actually using it because I never really took the time to sit down and yeah, make sure that it would work with my with my phone. But yes, it has this little thing. Oh, I can I can lift it up. Yeah, it has this song card that everything goes through, so I can play music and I can let you guys listen to some music as well. But um, yeah, it's late. And I don't want to put on copyright music. So thank you guys again for joining me. And I do look forward to your continued support. Please keep me in your prayer. I visited the doctor yesterday because I wasn't feeling so good. When I was in St. Lucia, I would have gotten a flu. Basically, a lot of people in the camp had that flu. It just came whoosh whoosh. I had a temperature of 101. I think I would have shared this already. But that sort of put me down a little bit because it left me with a cough that seems like it didn't want to leave. So eventually, because my throat started to hurt, and that is when I decided I want to go to the doctor because Sunday coming up, I have to attend the wedding. And I have to sing something for the wedding. Yes, one of my cousins is getting married. And he asked me to sing something for him. So in order for me to sing, I have to get those things working. The, when I went to the doctor, now she told me that my tonsil is swollen. Yeah, so that's why I was getting the pain. Because there was a pain running up in my neck. So I am right now on antibiotics. I can't drink any alcohol. Not that I do. <laughs> Now by juicy nose, now by juicy nose. You need your own program, boy. When Mapo PP, 
He does Muppet. <laughs> hey, Monisia's funeral. I may have a little bit more clips. Yeah, but it's mainly with the singing in the church. And um, some of the music may be copyrighted. But I will um, go through them. Because let me tell you. Monisia's funeral, I can tell you so far. Not that I want another funeral. But Monisia's funeral was basically the best funeral I have gone to in a long time. The singing in the church was on point the preaching on point you go in the street to get to the cemetery i mean it was a short walk but everybody was just celebrating they were just celebrating monicia's life for those persons who may be wondering who monicia is yes uh, monicia is a young lady well half of her is from paget farm half is from lobby so she's an Oliver from Lower Bay and she's a Hazel from Paget Farm. So you know where those two surnames are. And she was a young person. Yes, very joyful celebration. So a lot of young people turned out for that funeral. It's sad that um, she had to leave her 11 year old behind, but God knows best. And I know that he's going to be embracing that child and leading her into the path that she should because she has a very strong she has strong grandparents who love her and her family members as well, so she's in good hands. Okay, thank you very much. I think what happens, the cameras that um, Light FM uses and then, uh, yeah, B, I think what happened, the person who is videoing, I, I'm not sure if he's as brave to do some of the things that I do for the camera. In everybody's face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I try my best to do um because I know that there are persons who are looking to say, Boy, I will never see if my brother there, boy, hey, look my cousin there. Boy, watch the boy, long time I see the person there, boy. Yeah, so I try to think about people who I know that are living overseas. And when I do spot somebody that is related to them, I try to bring that person in focus. Are those persons in focus so that's how i basically would look at things i think about who wants to see what because um if i do a live or uh, a recording yes they need to yeah because what i when they're in the symmetry and they're doing the recording as well they normally focus a lot on the coffin going down in the hole other guys covering the coffin and the people are there, so it's like sometimes you say, boy, I ain't see such and such boy, they must see him in the funeral. Yeah, because I know Mike, I like to watch the live to say, boy, if you see his cousins, if you see his uncles and stuff like that. And you would say, boy, I ain't see Sony, I ain't see such and such. Sometimes the such and such are normally there, but the such and such basically are hidden from the camera or the cameraman doesn't really go about and show. <laughs> yes, I was um, running from the copyright, the copyright music because it was a lot of music. I have a few other clips which um, some of them I took because some of the people, one of the guys especially, he is like a funny person on the island and i everybody likes to video him so i will put them together for you guys if i get copyright no worries yes once it's not a strike a copyright strike yes i am going to see whatever i have left and i'm gonna see if i can share them for you i didn't do much in the symmetry yeah because sometimes as i was saying i was just allowing the guys what do they like to do they do yeah Okay, so with that said, I hope that you guys heard me loud and clear tonight. Yes, and I actually videoed um, Nikki, held the camera on Nikki because I knew that you would, want it, you would have wanted to see Nikki. 
because I know both you and Nikki are close. Yes. Yeah. Once um, once the video, okay, they give there's some copyright music that still allow you to use them, right? But whatever, whatever ink, I mean, I don't make a lot of money, so. If they get a five cents and I get a, um, a ten cents, nothing, nothing big about that. <laughs> yes, because um, I am telling you, the music in, in the church was really, really good. But the phone that I was using, um, because I have two phones that I use, this one that I'm speaking, this is the better phone, but the battery power don't last that long. Right? It's a phone that, I ha that has been going for a while. This very good picture quality but the um the audio especially if i move around the camera the audio sort of, sort of um swings it's sort of <laughs> yeah that kind of way but nonetheless you get the, the vibes oh my gosh well yes well i have a nice one with eden and ziki i don't know well if you're from beckway you would know ziki but um yeah, Eden and Ziki, Eden and um and Gus. Eden was dancing. Any funeral Eden is in, Eden just rocks. Yeah, guys, Eden rocks. Yes. Today I yeah, I didn't know I would have made it through this life, trust me, because I was really tired. I did I chopped down some trees today more than I did yesterday. I went to the beach and did a snorkel. I was looking to see if I find um Nemo, but I didn't find Nemo right <laughs> I didn't find Nemo because Nemo seems to the water I think is a bit warm yes the water is really warm the sea water so Nemo seems to have gone to cooler waters yeah but um yeah nonetheless I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit of underwater vibes as well yeah just for the sake of you know it's therapy yeah so being under under that water basically helps to calm you down but if you're if you're not brave <laughs> yes don't go snorkeling alone mm -hmm. okay guys i know i can sit down here for the whole night yeah or uh, some of you can stay there for the whole night but i am tired and i want to say thank you guys once more for sitting with me prepare yourself for next week study your bible <laughs> study the geography yes dada that is something that i would like to see as well you see now i'm ready the other night my father was telling me time to go sleep right <laughs> but why Every time I'm going, he's bringing up a point. Going around in the community and helping the old people is something I would like to see Christians start doing. That is true. And uh, at that point, there was a group that started before my grandmother um, died. Yeah, my sister and myself and some other persons from the community, the Christian community, they would have... Um, gone up on the hill by my grandparents because there's no road to drive and it basically was a gutter they had to use to come down on one side so they went and they built a nice little step and put a nice little handrail to help ease them up and then uh, when my um, aunt husband was sick now and uh, we moved them into my grandparents house yes that was closed down so we had to do a lot of cleaning that group came out and helped and we called ourselves the KBs, right we came out and we helped clean up the place yeah made sure that um my, my uncle that he was comfortable at all times we basically visited him we visit him every single day and night yes everybody somebody was there at all times and uh, he died but i can tell you he died feeling good and now his caretaker, the, the, the person who was his main caretaker, we call her Cousin Lynette. She's now not doing good, so I want you to keep Cousin Lynette in your prayers. 
yes keep her in your prayers because i can tell you she's a really loving woman a lot of patience she have yes when she was dealing with him it's like it was a breeze so take care of yourselves you checking how to like people comment but like that can't happen okay you just go to the if you just touch it you're supposed to see something coming up and you can give it a love if you want to give it a laugh you can um, give it a laugh you want to give it a 100 percent you can do that as well right so you just have to well on the laptop that i'm using when you go to the end you think i miss what michael said that's a very good idea dada i think we can organize such yes we can do that so michael that's one thing you need to get back in back with <laughs> yes that's something that we can do yes that we can do as a team we can um people can come together and we can assist because we have people who need assistance I remember the old days when anyone was building a house, all the folks were chipping and help. That's so true. That's so true. No, oh my gosh. You gotta pay money for everything. And even if you're paying your money, you're paying your money to get your work done and people cheating you. So my advice to people, right? Mapopi, if you're thinking of building a house home here, make sure you get somebody uh, probably already make sure you have you get somebody who is really has your best interest at heart whatever you're doing if you're saving money you're building a home make sure the person you have has your best interest at heart because if not you're gonna be building at a loss oh okay I, I thought um, other people could have like are given the love as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, love for everybody. Love for every everybody tonight. Oh, you got those experiences already. Yeah, I know a lot of people who are living overseas. Yeah, they are taking advantage of because um, people look at people. Some people tend to think because you live overseas that you're rich. You have a lot of money so they can do whatever they want to with your money yeah and you will just send back some no it's not at all yes jade and i understand you're only nine years old so nobody is gonna allow the nine year old to be out of their house yes especially a responsible um, parent to be out of their house at this time yes but one of these days when the sun is shining Yes, you can, um, we can organize something. Tell your daddy, message me. You can message me on, um, on Facebook. Uh, he can get my number from one of the other teachers who has it, and he can call me. Yes, so every time I'm saying I'm going to go, somebody pops up something else, right? So I'm going to say to you again, take care of yourselves, right? Remember to share the love Remember tonight we were wondering where has the love gone because we're seeing a lot of negativity happening. Yes, senseless killing, robbing, raping. Oh my gosh, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Yes, so we will continue. We have the trivia and we will continue as my father say along that line. So guys, in the meantime, you can think about how you can help somebody else yes because we know there are a lot of people who need help i noticed this facebook page let me find it there's some a group of young people who are reaching out to others greater purpose svg so if you think um you would like to help somebody on that page you can go to greater purpose svg and see what's trending there who they are seeking help for and if you trust them, go right ahead and help them out. Yes, they, are, they were trying to get some stuff um, for some students. 
who was saying that, well, the parents were saying that they can't go to school because they don't have uniform, they don't have books, they don't have anything, basically. And then somebody else basically was saying, um, it seems somebody went and checked around in the community where that request came from, and they're saying that there are no twins <laughs> below such age in that community. So sometimes we have to be careful when we are um, taking requests from people. In the meantime, I'm going to continue helping with your help, persons in need here, persons that I know because moving forward, I know that there are persons in the community who are not on the channel here and who may not be able to view their children in the communities on Beckway who um, we can help as well with a book, a book bag, even as, as simple as a pencil. Right, so we are going to, um, I'm hoping to go into the community one of these days and I'll take a drive through and uh, basically do a visual with the children and uh, see if I can figure out who is who and who I think would need what. Uh, what I have would be of benefit to that person, right? So with that being said, thank you guys again. Do have a good night, a good weekend, and look forward for that video with Cousin Mama because you're going to laugh, I know. Yes, you're going to laugh. Yes, I'm not going to let anything out of the bag, but you're going to laugh. You're going to love this lady all over again. So take care of yourselves. Thank you, Michael, for that um, giveaway tonight. And uh, yes. Congratulations to Domo, that's my dad. Daddy number one father in the, in the land, eh? Yeah, before I go, when I was younger, people used to tell me they wish my father was their father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big up that, big up that. Yeah, so um, thank you, Michael. Yes, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, um, Marco P for that super chat. And thank you to every one of you who have joined us here tonight, would have participated in one way or the other, or just stuck around in the back, just listening to us. Jaden, you are the, I think right now, you have been the youngest participant, so you deserve to be rewarded for that. All right? So take care of yourself and have a blessed night. All righty, guys. Bye. And don't forget to share my channel with somebody else. Just let them know that, hey, girl, Suni, Simple Island Girl Suniko is around. And join us every Friday night. You see, my channel is making people link up each other. Look, Charlotte and Michael. <laughs> yes, persons who are not seeing getting the opportunity to say hi elsewhere you get the opportunity to say hi here so don't forget to support my channel yes you can support me via paypal as well the information is in my bio uh-huh i just put it there to try it to see if it would work do <laughs> all right guys take care bye bye everybody love you guys Mwah. See you guys next Friday, God's willing.